Hello everyone, welcome to Geeks for Geeks. In this video, we will be building AI Assistant Desktop application by using Python and Tick Enter. So this is the user interface of this software. So uh, with the help of this software, you can uh, you can give the voice command uh, to your computer, right? For just example, uh, let's ask something uh, with this AI. So let's say uh, let's let's I'm asking what. What is your name? My name is Virtual Assistant. So that's how you can talk with this thing. Not only that, you can all you can uh, give a task to do something. Like for this example, I'm saying like uh, uh, open YouTube. YouTube open. So as you can see, uh, this AI assistant open uh, open YouTube for me, right? So that's how the thing is happening. You can suppose you are you are not uh, interested to, uh, to give the command through the voice. You can you can also mm, give the command by typing. Suppose let's say I am saying like uh, good morning, good uh, morning, uh, morning, right? Uh, good morning and say that. Good morning, sir. I think you might need some help. So that's how the thing is happening. Now let's let's do one one more thing and that this uh, this delete button basically delete the alt text inside this the text view so as you can see is delete the all uh, the text inside the text view let's do one more thing like let's say ask about the uh, about uh, the weather uh, weather of my area so i need to say weather 22 degrees celsius fog <laughs> that is the all about this application in this video we will be building uh, the whole application from the scratch so before the writing the code uh, let's uh, discuss how will be how we will be uh, making the software like what will be the workflow uh, workflow right so okay so as you can see over here like uh, first of all we will be building the user interface uh, so it's look something like this so first of all we will be building this kind of user interface and then uh, then uh, then we'll be converting the text to speech to text right suppose like uh, what what uh, what command the user give to the uh, give to the computer suppose and they suppose they can say that open the youtube and they so whatever the command will be converted into the text format and then then we will be performing the action according to that command we will be adding a lot of uh, the conditions and do some stuff and then after that, what we, whatever we will be uh, getting the result, we will be again converting to text to this page. So this this will be our the workflow of our, uh, of building the software, right? So yeah. So okay, so okay. Now let's open your VS Code. So as you can see over here, by default, I have a image folder. Inside the image folder, I have an image. So this image we will be using while building the software. As you can see over here, so we will be using this image in the user interface, right? So now, okay. So now let's make a file called user interface. So uh, we will be making a file let's say ugui.py right so we will be writing the all code of user interface like um, user interface in this file right okay so we will be building the user interface by using a tick enter so first of all uh, first of all import that uh, inbuilt in module so this is tick enter is the inbuilt mo module so we no need to install anything right so first of all write the input that uh, tick uh, inter library so we need to write the from uh, tick into mm, tk tk enter uh, tk enters import everything right so we will be import every function from this module so now and uh, now let's uh, let's build the some uh, uh, some code for the user interface so okay so first of all we'll be making the object so first of all make a variable called root and make a tk uh, tk object so let's make it and then loop that uh, function so okay so now you can say that tk root dot main loop right so loop loop so as you can see as you can see when try to run this uh, command we will getting the basic frame of that user interface so of interface so as you can see um, 
okay so as you can see over here we getting a simple uh, frame uh, basic window not we can say a basic window of uh, of this author right so there's nothing uh, con th this contain nothing right so yeah so as you can see over here we have uh, some uh, issue with that they are having uh, some default uh, titles and they are not res uh, we are like this is a resizable right so i don't want this kind of thing so let's customize this windows so now first of all we just try to you know uh, customize our title so we can say that true dot uh, title uh, ti title uh, title let's say we say that uh, ai assistant right so ai assist uh, assistant ai assistant and let's try to run this again and as you can see uh, let's make a bigger so as you can see the uh, title gets uh, changed and let's try to okay let's try to do the uh, let's try to make a geometry like a fixed geometry right so as you can see so root dot uh, geometry and I want to give some this kind of size so as you can see they are the fixed size uh, so I just try to give the uh, width uh, I want to give a width 5 uh, uh, okay 500 zero zero cross uh, in the in the term of a uh, width and the height will be uh, seven five uh, six seven five so for me like it's good like as you can see over here uh, when I just try to run as you can see they are having some uh, in the width is 550 and the uh, in the uh, height it's 670 uh, uh, 675 right so that's uh, that this is the thing and let's try to um let's try to uh, uh, okay so now like whenever whenever we try to run this as you can see whenever I try to run this like we are not we are able to you know resize this window right as you can see uh, as you can see the, we can resize this window so we don't want this right so what we can do what we can do we can uh, we can also customize this one we just need to say root dot resize uh, resizable uh, we can say that resizable and we pass the uh, we give the some uh, two uh, boolean value like say we can say that uh, false uh, false and fa false right false so now as you can see when i just try to run this when i just try to run it as you can see i'm not able to resizable this uh, window so yeah okay so now uh, now let's try to give some uh, background color so as you can see they are having some background color so let's try to give us some background color so we can say that root dot config uh, config uh, config bg is equals to something give something uh, colors i give some hexagonal value 6 uh, hash 6 uh f eight uh f a f right so okay this is uh, uh, wrong eight right so yeah so this gives the i uh, suppose i just give like i give this color you can give any un, any other color so for me it's good so let's try to run it and as you can see i am getting uh, some uh, beautiful uh, background color Okay, so now let's try to uh, okay now let's try to build some um, so uh, some add some widgets in it. So as you can see, they are having a frame inside the frame, having a titles, image, and again we have a text box, uh, text views, buttons, and all those things. Okay, eh? so let's try to write it. So first of all, we're making a frame which is this one, right? So this one, this uh, this one. So let's try to write it. So let's make a frame, uh, a frame. So now we are writing the frame. So let's make a variable called frame and uh, and frame is equals to let's say label uh, frame frame and this frame contain in this root one right root frame right. So this frame contain in the root frame. So let's say that where this frame contain in the root form in the root and give some padding padding in the x direction. Let's say I want to give some x direction padding in the and red and padding in the y directions let's say seven and border uh, uh, border with uh, let's say three and something gives some styling called and i want to give some styling right so 
uh, styling something like this right uh, okay okay so basically this uh, styling gives some 3d effect as you can see over here it gives some you know 3d effect right uh, so that 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 that, uh, that is the all about the styling so um, okay so now let's try to uh, make uh, so okay so now we will be making a frame and now we will be putting into the root direct uh, in the root uh, frame right so so like we can uh, we can do it by the two method called grid or packed so we will be using a grid it say that uh, uh, grid uh, grid and say that okay so as you can see over here uh, so this uh, this frame contain at zero column and zero row so we can say that uh, row is equals to zero and column is equals to let's say one and give some padding called in the x direction is equals to 550 and let's say give some padding in the y direction let's say 10 and okay and then okay now let's try to run it uh, as you can see so you are not able to see anything because inside the frame it uh, contain nothing that's why you are not able to see anything so let's add some in the frame like right? so in the frame as you can see in the frame having a text level and image level so let's try to add those things so first of all like add the uh, text level uh, text uh, text level label right so let's try to add some text label so we can say that like a variable called uh, text uh, label is equals to a label okay so i just misspell the okay label is equals to uh, label all right so this label contain in what where like in the main frame so as you can see this this text contain in the main frame in the frame not main frame so in the frame right so let's write it a uh, frame and this label contain in the frame and this uh, text label had the name text name is ai alsis tent right alsis tent right and give some uh, font uh, styling so let's give some font styling cause uh, comic so yeah give some styling of it and now give some uh, now let's say give some uh, what you say like give some uh, uh, give some uh, let's say font size and let's say like my text will be bold so I just give it say that bold so it totally depend on you 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 keep you keep you if you want to keep your label in bold you can give these parameters but you can't you you, you like you can not give that so like and let's give some okay as you can see over here like they are having some background effect uh, so i just give it something called this and here i just make like give some uh, little uh, shady uh, lighter value of that background so 66 and give some 96 right 96 so this is the uh, hexagon values and now let's try to pack into the new grid into this uh, main frame so now we will be say that text uh, text level dot grid uh, grid uh, let's say you can say that so now as you can see uh, this text contain inside the frame at zero column and zero row so we can say that a row uh, is equals to zero and column uh, column is equals to zero right and let's say give some uh, padding on it so in the x direction I give something and in the padding in the y direction I will give one I just give 10 right so let's try to run it uh, now as you can see this is the uh, user inter this is the frame and in the inside the frame having uh, our text is AI assistant so now as you can see like uh, over here in, in this picture that uh, the background the root uh, root frame containing this same background color of that frame so let's make it that frame with with uh, the same as the background uh, color 
so let's make it so now for that we just need to write the background color of that uh, this so now we have to say that okay so this is the frame and this is the uh, root frame so we were just making this frame color as background color okay so now let's try to write it frame dot config uh, dot config uh, frame dot config uh, b is equals to same i same uh, i just keep it same so just copy it over here from there i just it uh, just make it uh, comma into double quote okay now it's good let's try to run it okay as you can see there's uh, the background and the frame ha having the same color and they are having similar okay now let's try add some image on it right so as you can see over here it's contain an image in the main frame so okay so as you can see over here i have uh, i have uh, i have a png uh, png image so unfortunately tk enter is not supported any kind of png or jpg images by default they uh, they you know it's you know supported uh, gif file and all so okay so for that i just need to we need some install the package called pillow so open your terminals and write your uh, write pip uh, install um, pillow so this pillow module help us to you know uh, integrate uh, integrate png or uh, jpg uh, image inside the tick enter use uh, tick enter in, right so let's install it and make sure uh, make sure the internet connection is, is on otherwise uh, the library is not in, in downloaded right? so as you can see uh, my uh, my requirement is already satisfied so i no need to you know i already installed that package before so okay so now after installing the after the uh, downloading that package now we will be importing the libraries called pillow so instead import the pillows library right so so let's mm, mm, write from uh, from pillow p i l all is capital p i l all is capital and import uh, import image i should i should be pack capital and say that image and then image uh, image uh, image and t is capital and k is small right so this is the thing right so now uh, inside the pillow library we import these two thing right now let's make it uh, now let's make a comment called uh, comment called image label right so now we say that image so here we'll be converting the uh, png file in the uh, okay so now uh, let's say that image image is equals to uh, is equals to image tk dot uh, dot photo uh, photo image right photo image and inside the image uh, we uh, we opening the image where it is located so image image dot open uh, open and we can say that so now now we give the uh, location of that image as you can see over here inside the image folder we have image uh, image assistant dot png so now give the location of that image so we can say that image image and inside the image inside the image folder we have a uh, image called assistant uh, assist assistant uh, tent assistant dot png right and then uh, then 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 we will be you know say that where this image will be get uh, put so now we need to say that image label so image label uh, label variable let's make it and let's say that image label so where it is put inside the frame so we need to say that frame and the image is equals to image is equals to this image so now let's uh, grid this image into the frame so we need to say that image label label uh, label dot grid uh, grid uh, grid is equals to uh, row is equals to one y one and let's say as you can see over here that image is vertical to that text so the text uh, row is zero column and zero row and the image is row is equal one and column is zero 
so that's why so this uh, column is equals to 0 and give some padding in the y direction let's say padding in the y direction is 20 right so mm, this is the okay now let's try to run it and see the image is appear or not so as you can see image is appear inside the frame okay so now mm, okay so far so good uh, okay now let's uh, build the in uh, this uh, text view so this text view not contain in the frame this text view contain in the root uh, in the root frame right so let's make it let's make it so let add so now give some command adding adding some uh, text uh, what let's uh, make it closer shutter uh, let's make some you no know, uh, zoom it right so it will be easier for you to uh, see the code so okay so now um, add some comment called adding text widget so we adding some text widget widget right and now okay there is capital and some small just ignore it okay so now we'll be adding the text widget so let's make a variable called text and give some text called that x method and in this text text contain in the where root in the root we not in the frame so and give some font if you want so i just give my font favorite font a uh, name uh, you can give anyone right so for me it's good okay uh, i just give it and give some size of the text and also give some you know uh, i want to keep my text in bold right so and give some uh, background too i can give background same as the shaded color uh, text level shaded color so 6 5 you can give you know any color like it's up to your you know uh, wish so text and now this text a uh, grid inside the where uh, inside the uh, this main root so let's get do it dot grid and uh grid and now as you can see the uh row will be two and column will be zero because we you know we you know like as you can see this all in the vertically so that's why so column is equals to um let's say zero i believe yeah and now uh, now give so now let's give some text dot place so is give some in the x direction so i want what is the size of in the x direction i just want to keep it 100 and in the y direction i just want to keep it uh something called 375 uh the positions of the text you know uh, text widget right and give some wide width and the height of that text widget uh, let's say i just want to give the uh, width is equals to 3 uh 375 375 and i want to give in the height something called uh, something called uh, 10 sorry 100 so yeah let's try to run it uh, let's try it so as you can see uh, the positions and the height so as you can see these uh, text widgets appear inside that root uh, frame so like this is the locations where what is the location of that uh, widget and this is the height and the width of that widget text widget right so now let's make another thing which is the entry box so uh, entry widget scroll there right entry widget so let's make it first okay now we will be adding the this uh, entry uh, this uh, entry widget so let's write it the code so now let's commit it and say that entry uh, entry widget uh, widget so let's make a uh, variable called entry uh, entry and this uh, entry widget contain in the root so say that root and say into center i want in the center uh, center and say that entry uh, entry is equals to entry dot place uh, place x is equals to 100 in the y direction so basically it's the locations where the widgets contain y is equals to 500 and give some vi uh, width of that uh, entry box so i just want to give into 500 and i just give height something called uh, 30. 
right sorry so let's try to run it so as you can see uh, this is the uh, entry box where we can uh, give some write some text okay so okay now we just uh, give uh, make this three button so let's make it so uh, comment it B U T T U one button uh, button one so make it uh, button uh, one is equal to button and this button contain in root so root uh, root and give some so first button is let's say ask button so let's make that button text is equals to ask right ask and then give some background clue uh, bg is equals to let's say hash 3 let's say uh, hash uh, 3 5 uh, Six six nine six right nine six right so yeah uh, give the some background color as you can see uh, have it contains some background color also give some padding uh, padding in the what uh, in the y direction let's say sixteen I want to give some sixteen and in the padding in the x direction so I just give some forty and uh, also it contain as you can see also it's con that uh, contain the border so let's say give some border width i just want to give so border width say let's say 30 and give some styling is solid uh, and now okay so each command contain a parameter called command so that's commands uh, having some function contain some functions right so let's make a command and uh, the function name of that command let's say fun uh, fun yet not is not created we will be making soon so okay just keep it as it is so now give some uh, button uh, okay so now this button put into placed uh, placed into like like okay so in the root so we just say that uh, button uh, one dot place uh, place server so place I just want to place in the x direction 70 uh, not uh, 70 uh, yeah, 70 is cool in the y direction I just 5 7 so let's make the okay so not you like not make a uh, function name let's say ask is a function name right so fun is not make sense right so make it ask so for make uh, okay so make it the functions over here here making a function um, ask function implementing that function so div dot ask making that functions and let's say for now mm, we just printing that ask function Whenever the user click that uh, button, the uh, in the command uh, in the terminal print ask. So for now, let me be, uh, you know, we will be writing more code in this function. Uh, um, but for now, we will just printing that uh, the ask, right? Uh, print that ask, ask and ask test, right? So make a one more uh, one more buttons. Okay, so one more button. So as you can see, it contain one more button called delete. So uh, make a one more button let's say it's gonna say that button button two right so two two and give some place so this button contain over here so let's say uh, give some uh, uh, say that something called place so 40 and some 755 okay so also uh, the text of that button will be uh, something called what is that uh, let's say send send button right so let's say send right send I know then okay so 
okay again this contain another function another function is called send I believe, yeah send right so send function is yet not created let's implement that function uh, dev send call function whenever that user click on that button let's say say that send right let's make three and here just change the variable name just change it and that button is for deleting the text inside the text view so say that text and same color same and let's say that delete uh, del text right so this uh, function will be implemented so, and next say that turn 225 and 575 right so this is the positions of that button now let's implement that uh, delete text so just copy this thing and implement over here right so now say that and print text let's make it a function and print that text delete right so let's try to run it okay so now as you can see we get all three button and let's click and see what action what will be getting action so as you can see whenever we'll say that uh, click this uh, ask button it's written the ask lead lead test and send this send uh, text so yeah so this is the user interface part so now we will be now the second we will be uh, we will be you know giving some functionalities called text to speech okay so now we will be writing a code for the uh, for the uh, speech to text conversion so whatever the user say text let's say hello or whatever uh, give command to your computer it's convert into the text so for that we just need to make a folder another python folder let's say make a speech uh, speech to text dot py right and uh, before that we just need to install some um, uh, external uh, python library for for that open up uh, your uh, terminal and uh, and install these two library first is a uh, speech recognition so uh, make sure uh, you uh, uh, download this version only so just copy this and paste into your terminal okay and okay so as you can see uh, my requirement is already satisfied because i already installed in this um, environment python environment right so for uh, for, okay i'll uh, make sure your internet connection is on uh, while uh, installing this uh, package right and another library is pi audio uh, you just copy this and paste over here uh, yeah and okay again uh, again my requirement is satisfied i like i installed before that right before making this video okay so now now we can uh, write code for uh, uh, for uh, for the speech to text conversion so first of all import the uh, library so in write import uh, speech speech recognition and say let's say sr yeah and then uh, then we just make a variable called r and let's say r dot recognizer uh, recognizer so all these matrix come from this uh, libraries and then uh, we'll say that with with sr dot microphone so here whatever the uh, open up the microphone whatever the uh, users uh, say uh, it's convert into so as a text we just make another variable called audio audio is equals to the r dot listen and here uh, here we have to just pass this source right uh, yeah 
uh, and then let's make a variable called let's say uh, uh, voice it's empty string kind of uh, okay so variable is equals to something we just not put anything in this variable right and then uh, then we just uh, say that uh, voice uh, data is equals to uh, is equals to recognize from Google and pass that audio this one in this function right okay and print that data whatever we uh, listen from the microphone so say that wise data okay now let's check it so it's convert uh, into the text or not so just run it hello world so as you can see we get the uh, text format in the text format of our speech let's try one more once more okay so once more it's converted into function so yeah this is very good and now mm, we just uh, also handle the uh, exceptional case right so suppose like uh, whatever like suppose i just run it and let's say user say nothing right my mic is open and user say nothing then we get some error right and suppose uh, there's internet connection is not on right then again there are some uh, in, uh, we getting some error right so for that we just need uh, we just need to you know handle the uh, text uh, you know we just need to handle the exception case too so for that we just need to say try and here we just paste uh, uh, that value uh, here and say this tap okay exception uh, so exception dot unknown error values so then here let's say uh, let we print like sorry uh, we can say that sorry okay and let's say make another yeah we can say that okay error right and now let's make an another exception exceptions exceptional exception let's say make another exception uh, request error request error request error and let's say write it uh, request error request error right okay so now uh, this is we also handle these uh, these uh, uh, exceptional uh, exceptional case so yeah uh, okay so now like uh, we just uh, all this code wrap up in the uh, function right so it it will be good right so we just we know it's just cut this whole thing and just make our function a speech uh, speech okay sorry I just misspell uh, speech to text right and here just paste all this code and make it uh, correct the indentation of that code so yeah now it's good but uh, let's say like this is a voice but we have to return that voice right uh, then we will be getting right so we just need to say that uh, return this voice data otherwise we're not getting anything right from whenever we call this function right and yeah now it's good right now it's good okay so now we will all code put into the uh, this functions and let's try to run it and check it it's working or not so for that we just need to print it too so for the testing purpose uh, we will uh, you know delete uh, after like after testing right then then just call this function again over here we're just checking like the thing is working after after all code put into the uh, uh, putting into this function or not so let's try to run it once more hello world okay so as you can see we're getting this a uh, text hello world so yeah 
so so far so good i will be writing the code for uh, for converting the text to the speech right so whatever we getting the result and uh, in the text will be now then then will be converting into the speech format so for that we just make another python uh, folders called text to um, speech uh, speech dot py right okay to implement this uh, we need a uh, uh, one more uh, external python external libraries so uh, this is the name of the uh, python li uh, library pytt sx3 so just you need to open your terminal and you just need to say that uh, people install uh, py tt uh, sx3 and make sure your internet connection is on and as you can see already uh, my requirement is already satisfied because i already installed uh, in this uh, in the python environment right so yeah okay so now let's write a code so first of all uh, you just need to import that library so you just need to write a import uh, import pyttts3 and then uh, then and then we have to make our uh, engines like let's say make a variable called engine um engine and then to, you know call that uh ppt act initialize we, we need to initialize of this engines and then uh, then we have to give the rate uh, rate how like what will be the speed uh, rate speaking rate right speaking rate so we just make a rate and then then we have to say that engine dot uh, dot get property um, get uh, get property uh, p should be capital right pro uh, properties uh, properties and we can say that rate uh, rate uh, or ate rate and then uh, then we have to set uh, the again say that that engine dot uh, again we have to say that uh, set property we have to write set the property uh, pro properties uh, properties and here we have to say that rate rate and let's say we have to set the rate as rate is 70 so the higher value the slower rate right so that's how the thing is working and and then and then we can say that uh, then we can say that engine dot say so whatever the uh, text we have to put over here suppose like uh, make a uh, one more uh, variable uh, we can say that uh, let's say we can say that hello right is a hello and then this text pass over here text right and then and then we have to say that engine dot uh, run run and then wait function so mm, i think i just misspelled okay now is good right so now now whenever we just call uh, run this uh, programs and as you can see hello it's speak up it's convert this text into this page right so the, that's how the thing is working and let's let's make another let's make another string let's say uh, well uh, gigs uh, for gigs and let's try to run this g4 gig right so that's how the thing is working and let's make uh, let's ma let's wrap all this code in into in in, the, in a function right so what will we will do we make cut this the whole code and make a function and uh, say that text uh, text uh, to speech text to speech uh, and then we paste the, all the code right so make sure uh, the indentation all indentation is correct of this code and the thing is on right so yeah and let's okay so we will be passing this uh, function uh, text as a variable so we just pass this the text we will pass that this function uh, uh, text as a parameter so whenever we call that uh, the function we have to 
give the text so now here we can say that text to speech and let's say pass some uh, whatever uh, text which we want to speak up uh, convert into the audio format so let's say i i just give a hello world so now now let's try to run it and see if the thing is working or not hello world so yeah this is a uh, so yeah this is working pretty fine so just uh, delete this thing and yeah okay so now we will be implementing the action so like whatever the user give the command we will be uh, performing the ac action according to the user uh, user, um, user command right so we just need uh, like we just need to make another uh, python file and give the uh, let's say give the um, python name is action so here we are just writing the all code uh, code for the uh, uh, for like what 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 will be the actions if the comma if the user say something this and that right so yeah now so now we just importing something like we just importing the importing text to speech of python file so we just import that text we just make this file uh, write the code for earlier in this video and now we just import another uh, speech to text for our Python file, and then we can uh, then we can say that okay data mm, uh, so user we can say that user data uh, user data so as as we remember like inside these uh, folder file we have a functions called text to speech let's copy it paste over here so we can say that uh, uh, speech to text inside the speech to text have we, uh, we have uh, we have speech to text functions so if you remember like uh, if you remember this files return the text data which is the uh, uh, text format of the uh, audio input right so it's written and we get this uh, we get that data in in this uh, user variable right and then what will you do that let's say if we, we just write the if condition if user say that something like that what is your name uh, name and we just check that in the user data get this uh, this uh, text inside the user data then we'll be uh, call this uh, uh, speech to text uh, function so what we'll do basically we just go we say that, that inside this speech text to speech fun, uh, folder uh, uh, file inside the text file we getting we grab this function right so basically this functions take uh, take the text as an argument so we will be passing the text as an argument so suppose the user say that what is your name so now we will be hard coding that like my name uh, name is uh, virtual and assistant right assistant right and then uh, like we just speak up and yeah and then we just uh, speak up this uh, value then what will we do uh, then 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 we can say that okay and we can say that hello so for uh, hello in like we find that this uh, text inside this uh, variable or we can say that user can say that uh, like say hello hi we can say that uh, say that in this user data uh, user data so you can make like as much as you can right you can give the as much as you can possibly uh, possibility what can uh, what different kind of way the uh, user speak of it uh, give the command so yeah it's totally uh, depending on the user so yeah then we just need uh, say that like text to speech uh, we just call that text to dot text to speech and we just pass this like what will be the answers of that um the response of the user so we can say that hi sir uh hi sir uh how i can help you we can something like that how i can help you so yeah uh, this is the thing and let's make uh, one more thing let's say uh let's say let's let's say we can say it else if so it's totally depend on you you can make plenty of else if else if else if else if right so we can what i i will add once more and then we'll be give some action all apart right so then we can say that um good morning uh good morning and then in and we just found this in the user data we can just um just copy this thing and paste can something say that okay uh, good morning sir right so something like this good morning sir good morning sir good morning sir right okay so yeah so now let's try to implement the uh, time part right so users say like uh, users say what's time now or what is time now so it's give the current time uh, time to the user for that we just need to implement uh, import the time Library. This is an inbuilt library, so we no need to install the time and all. 
uh, okay so date okay so we just use that date time right so this is the um uh, then in build uh, mo uh library so we just need to say okay so again we just say that else if so user let's say say time time now now or you can add uh, different different way but for now i'm just say that uh, time now right so date uh, we just in find in the user data then what will be time and time so for that like a variable called current current underscore time let's say uh, let's labels and call that uh, in build functions called date time dot now and then mm, then makes our time is equals to string uh current times and it's give in the hour hour uh and then and then current dot minute right so it gives the uh minute in the minute right format and then we can say that this is in the minute right so i just made to spell the uh minute spelling so we can say that m u o minutes right so yeah and then then we just call this uh, this speech to speech functions and the pass the uh, time. time variable right uh yeah time the variable so yeah that's good and let's make a one more uh, functions called else if uh, let's say suppose a user say shut down so it's close the ui so we can say the shut down and in the user data we can say that uh okay i just no uh, okay and just call this these things convert into the text into the speech okay so okay okay so it's convert into the text into the speech so what is this basically uh say that and it say that okay so you just need to say that okay sir okay sir right so again uh the thing is to say that and like the shutdowning uh, we just destroy the ui in the user interface right right now we will not implementing right and else if play music music and you can add uh, another phrase of uh, you know what what can different kind of user say right so we can say that in the user data the user data if we find this uh, string then uh, we just uh, okay so we just need to input uh, in once more uh, once more libraries called import web browser so basically it's an inbuilt uh, inbuilt uh, uh, python module so what it does basically it's open up the uh, link uh, from uh, open up the, the your browser and go to that that link which you put inside there right so we need to say that uh, web browser dot open we were just opening this uh, that uh, that link so we just opening the gana.com so you can put uh, put the spotify links and whatever you can do it there are plenty of options for you i just give the uh, gana.com right so the lord gana uh, gana.com gana dot gana.com right gana.com slash right so this is the uh, so it basically open the browser and go uh, and go to that and that redirect to this uh, web page so again we can say that we have to in a response to the user say that okay gana.com is now ready uh ready for you mm, and then so yeah that's good and let's make a uh, once more uh one once more um personalities uh let's say so similar way you can implement it for the googles and youtube too so i just copy this thing and paste over here uh paste over here and just copy this things and paste over here so i just see here we can say that youtube uh you tube and here i will go for open google oh sorry uh, this is for that one open uh google and give the here the youtube link uh youtube p u uh tube dot com and here i give the google dot com google dot com right and here we can say that uh 
YouTube dot com ready for you and here we can say that google dot com is ready for you right so what we can add more like suppose like our users give the value which is not in our conditions in that case the reply of the computer say that uh, the response of this um, computer is something say that something like that uh, something say that like uh, like I'm not able to understand right something like this so I'm not uh, I'm not able to understand right and there is Dan right okay okay now we'll be adding the uh, weather functionality in, in our application so what is that basically whenever the user say what is the uh, weather in your area in, in their area so it gives the real mm, real temperatures of that area so basically mm, uh, we can implement this thing by two methods first we can use any kind of uh, api uh, weather api or we can use uh, by scraping web scraping so what we will do basically we will scrape the data from the google so for that we just make uh, another uh, python file and give the name is weather so weather dot py right so okay, for implement this thing, we need to again install two uh, library, external library, li Python external li libraries. So first is the request uh, HTML uh, zero point. Make sure you download correct version whatever we installing uh, over here, right? So just install this thing, or copy this uh, command and open up your terminal. Uh, open up your terminal and uh, just clear this thing and paste over here. So as you can see, my requirement is already satisfied, so I don't need to install again. So again, uh, again, the second library is uh, this, right? So just copy this thing and make sure the correct uh, version should be four point nine point one and paste into the terminal, right? Terminal. So just paste it. Uh, I just need to copy this once more again. Uh, just copy this, and or you can type it right. So just paste it over here. So it's installing, and yeah, yeah, it's install that my uh, install this package into my uh, Python environment, right? Okay, cool. Now, uh, now we just need to import uh, these uh, these two li libraries. So we have to import these two li libraries. So we just need to say that from um, request uh, request uh, underscore HTML. We just need to import this uh, HTML uh, HTML session. Right, and another way we need to import is speech to text uh, Python files which we make over here. This, this one, right? Okay, uh, so now this two things is import into uh, this uh, Python file. Okay, so what we'll be do basically, uh, basically, like open up your Google, uh, just Google uh, search engine, and as you can see, uh, as you can see, uh, like uh, suppose I want to search uh, the temperature, weather conditions in my area. Suppose currently I live in Patna, so I just need to say uh, weather Patna, right? So it's give the weather conditions of that button now, right? And if you see the clearly the URL, if you just remove this all this gibberish. So as you can see, see this Google, then search, and that query what we uh, insert is this thing. So we just copy this thing and we we'll use this thing uh, in in our code. So just to make a comment, we use this thing, right? We make a request to get request to grab this data. For how we can do, we just uh, see in this video, right? So okay, I, uh, in further we use this URL, okay? And then okay, so first of all uh, make object as it equals to SG session, and then uh, then then okay, so then then we have to make a variable called URL and paste this url and make it f and make this and just copy this thing and paste over here cool okay so this is the url whenever we hit this url we will be getting this uh, weapon right okay cool so now uh, make it dynamic so i just say that query uh, query query is equal to let's say uh, from i just want to know the uh, temperature of uh, patna so i say patna right patna and i just make it into the string format right so and again i just wanted to get dynamically right so i just say that uh, query Queries, right so it's complete that query right again we just uh, okay so now we send the get request so i just say that r is equals to s dot get uh, get request so we just uh, give the get request so in the get request we uh, we need uh, we need uh, two parameters first is first is the url like what uh, in which url you want get request and second thing is the header so for that uh, you you just need to say that uh, in the google you just need to say that user uh, user agent right uh, agent user agent just copy this user agent and open up your google uh, google um just type it uh, type over here what is my uh, user agent right and just this so whenever you do this you will getting this uh, this user agent just copy this user agent and paste over here and just you can say that this is the okay this is the what is this this is the user user a agent right so we have to pass this thing right so first of all pass the url and then we have to pass the header headers and inside the headers we give the uh, uh, user agent right so we just say that user user you should be capital and agent agent so user agent and paste this uh, this thing right paste this thing paste make a comma and paste whole thing over here right cool now uh, okay so okay now we make a uh, get request okay so like what so we get uh, whenever we run this code we get the whole code of uh, whole code of this web page right but we want up this thing this element we want this element and the like uh, celsius part and and the description like hazy and whatever so we don't need the whole code of this uh, this web page right we just need a particular targeted thing so for that we just click on this inspect element and go to this tool select tool and and select this thing 
so when you will select this thing you will getting the which element it is so as you can see uh, i just selecting this thing mm, go to select skeleton and click over here so i want this element as you can see this element found in the span and the id is this so what you need to do is uh, make sure they copy this id so inside the id we getting this uh, right so we getting this element uh, desired element right so i just copy this thing and make a comment and say that id is equals to this right and uh, where is id in the span tag right so just copy this span and and paste this okay so let's make it so let's make another uh, variable called temp and here uh, here what you can do you can say that r dot html uh, html uh, html find we have find this element right in in that uh, in the whole uh, in the whole uh, code right so we just find this what we find we find the span tag span tag like which have uh, which have id so we can if you have uh, like uh, ID. So if we get the ID, we can say okay, make it in the comma, and we can say that span. We find a span, which ID is this. Okay. So if we if we copy this ID, so we can say that hash, and if we class, then we put the dot, right? So this, and then we give the another parameter called first. Uh, first is equals to something called uh, true, right? And convert into the text. Again, uh, again we say that uh, unit make another value unit. I just wanted to grab this uh, Celsius too, right? What is that? 31 what? It's Celsius, right? So we also want this grab this thing. So I just uh, click on over here, and as you can see, uh, as you can see, this uh, span inside the div. So first of all, we just grab this div and then span. So what we will do? I just copy this thing. I just copy this thing, and 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 uh, and then uh, and then uh, say that okay, the class the class of this this div is this, right? First of all, we find this uh, div, and then and then we find the span. So we can say that div, and which is the class name. So we that's why we put dot and the class name is this, right? So inside the class we have a span a span tag. So inside the span uh, we grab this class. So the class name is this, and we can say that we can say that uh, give some space and say that a span dot uh, dot this uh, this class, right? And again we can say convert into the text. And let's say again we want some description, so we can say that make a function called disk and just copy this thing, copy this thing, and and grab this description part like oh, where is called description. Uh, this is the description, right? So I just copy this thing and just paste over here. And as you can find, uh, this is the uh, description, right? So this description inside the uh, I believe uh, inside this uh, mm, uh, span and it has ID, right? So we grab directly this span. So like ID is unique, right? So that's why. Uh, okay, so just copy this thing, uh, ID, and we can say this. Uh, a span and I, this is id and that's why we put uh, this uh, thing hash and then we will do this okay so let's uh, let's read it and try to see if the thing is working or not so let's try to implement print these temperatures and then print some unit and then uh, then print some uh, let's say uh, what's that description so description uh, description right description right so let's run it Okay, so I'm getting a something. Okay, so I did mistake. We just need to say that uh, the, this is the class name. So this is the and so we have to put some dot over here. Okay, so now let's try to run it and see that this thing is working or not. So as you can see, we're getting the sunny Celsius and the uh, temperature. Well, often so yeah, so like okay, right. So okay, now let's uh, wrap up in this function in, in a function, right? So make our function called if and say that uh, weather, uh, weather and 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 paste the whole code. So paste the whole code, right? And then we just return these all these things, right? Just uh, we don't need to print, right? We just return the all three parameter uh, from this function, right? So you can say that uh, say that return uh, temperature. Then give some space. Give some space. Then we can say that uh, what unit. Give some space uh, and description. Description. Right. Cool. So yeah, and that's it. So okay. So so far we write a lot of code, and okay. So okay. So we are very close to build a complete applications. Okay, so now, uh, now we will be adding uh, like give the uh, in the action uh, in the action file, we will be adding this uh, weather functionality into the action, right? So we can say that uh, if else if uh, else if uh, else if uh, if suppose a user say weather. Uh, if the user say mm, uh, like weather, so so you can say that you can uh, check that in the user data. If we get this string called weather, then then you call this function. Uh, uh, then uh, then you you just to call this function. So where is functions? Like we have to import that one. Uh, this weather file, so I just import it. So import uh, weather, 
um, the weather. So uh, in the weather we have a weather function. So we just copy this thing. So each time like uh, the user say weather we just condition check that conditions and call that function called weather so and this weather is uh, stored in the variable uh, let's say result or answers let's say answers uh, okay and then mm, then we just uh, pass into this text to speech to text to speech function method uh, just copy this sensors and paste over here So as we know that uh, this weathers return the temperatures unit and description of it So we just speak up this thing, right? Okay, so hmm, So far so good We had a lot of things over here and yeah mm, Yeah, okay. You can add a lot of features. You can add a lot of features uh, It's totally depending up to you uh, you can add a lot of features, right? Okay, now, uh, okay, so the whole things we are wrap up in the functions called action, right? Okay, so now we will be returning this uh, this thing too. So let's uh, return that thing, right? Uh, we can also we can say that return and return this functions, right? So we have to just return this uh, the whole string, right? Returning the whole string. So somebody for this and return and pass this whole thing and same for this elf and return for the whole thing right and similarly for this returning the time right uh, time time right and similarly for here returning okay sir okay sir sir right and same for here uh, return just copy this the whole thing inside this value and paste over here okay right same for here same for here and make sure you just copy this over here and same for here too Again, and last but not least, here uh, last return this answer, and again so return here too. Okay, so now it's good. Uh, we have a functions and uh, do some this kind of actions, right? Okay, so one more thing we can do it uh, is that like uh, mm, we can okay so now it's good right? Uh, it's good right? Okay, so go to the main uh, GUI and if you remember, we are not implementing this uh, function, right? Uh, this function ask, uh, send, and delete functions. If you just try to run over here, uh, as you can see, it's running, and we just whenever we press the like, it's print that this delete and send, right? So we just we yet we not implemented right so the whole idea is that like whenever whenever we press ask so the whenever press on ask we use the mic for the communication with this bot or the send button we use text button uh, through writing we can give the command to the this bot so this is the all about the idea so let's implement first uh, first this uh, uh, this ask button right so first of all we just uh, using this ask button so okay now just remove this thing and implement this thing right okay so we can say that ask so we make a variable called ask let's say val um, something you can make any variable so okay so now we just call this uh, speak to text uh, speak to text very uh, yeah mm, uh, functions inside in speak to text we have a speak to text functions as we you remember this is a speak to text fi fi uh, a python file and this is the function right so yeah and uh, we just call this so whatever the user give the uh, command it is stored in the ask value uh, value right okay now mm, now we will uh, also now we import this action file where is the action file here is the action file so we just import this action file so we can say that import uh, action 
uh, action right import we, ju we just import this action file now uh, 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 okay so in the action file we have a called action uh, function so we just say that okay so we can say that bot val so uh, bot val or we can say that uh, user val right user val and bot val so bot val is uh, say that action dot action right so basically it's um, so in the in, in the uh, file action we grab this action file okay so what will we do so whatever we user user val pass in the ax val so let's say user say and say hello so we will pass into the action uh, action functions we just pass this but we are not uh, make that okay so we are not receiving that valuable so we can receive over here we can say that data and over here we can say that uh, uh, we just say that data dot and whatever we getting the data it convert into things okay so what we'll do over here like whenever say that something uh, whatever the converting the text into speech so we like uh, we convert into in all lower yes. so for that we just use lower function to uh, you know convert into the uh, lower case right now just save it and move to here okay so so far so good and yeah that's very good mm. okay so now we will be also you know uh, fill the uh, uh, text view so for that uh, we just use the text dot uh, uh, dot dot insert 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 and we will be say that end and just pass something called me and let's say me or we can say that user and we give something sign something like this and we get that user value or oh, and then backslash n in order to making this space okay cool so uh, also we can give some conditions like uh, bot val is equals to null uh sorry okay bot val is equals to not is equals to null then we will be like uh, like not is equals to null not is equals to uh null then we will be inserting the text like suppose they are bot we not getting any response from the bot so th that in that case we will be not filling that uh, text view so if we if something value if we getting something value then we will be inserting the text view so we can say that text dot inserting uh, in dot bot and uh, we can say that bot and give some something called something like this and and say that uh, something say that convert in a string we just convert into a string and pass that variable for thus like we getting the string but still we convert can convert into the string and we get some backslash n for like breaking the line right and then again we use a condition for bot val if bot val is equals to equals to okay sir so if you remember uh if you remember like uh, we're returning that uh if you remember in the actions we use the shutdown right we use the shutdown and we're returning the okay sir so we found that okay if we getting the okay sir the, in that case and that case we will destroy the UI so for here like we can check that if we getting some uh, call okay sir in that case uh, we, will be, we will be uh, root dot we will be destroying the root and we will shut down that destroy function we call this function so that uh, like uh, the uh, the UI get destroyed like or so now run this application and check the thing is working or not so okay so open up this thing and press on this ask button and ask what is your name my name is virtual assistant 
yeah it's good it's working right okay so now we'll be implementing okay so now we'll be implementing this uh, send button so as we know like we just implementing the ask button and now we'll be implementing the uh, send button right okay so let's implement this uh, button so okay initially like uh, we checking that uh, send buttons so we can say that uh, whatever we um, let's make a functions called send and we will grab that uh, the all values from the entry box so if you like just wait a minute okay so like as you can see uh, this is the entry box like this is the entry box so the second thing is like whatever we send this text into uh, into the bot the, in the response we getting some response from the bot right so so we just grab this the value inside the uh, entry box so what we will say uh, we can say that uh, something called is remove this thing and we can say that uh, we can make a variable send entry let's say entry 1 uh, entry 1 is equals to get dot this right uh, we will make set like entry right so as you can see over here we have some entry as you can see this is the entry right so this is the entry a variable we just call that variable and get that value from there right and then we just say that bot and that say that action uh, we just call that uh, this uh, function action dot action just copy this thing and just paste over here uh, just copy and just paste over here right and we just action and action and then we send that value into uh, into this action uh, in these actions and then we again put into the text uh, in the text view view we can say that insert that this and we can say the user something there that and we just put into a send variable send variable and then again same thing like if uh, the bot if the bot values so we just not writing a bot we just make a variable called bot not bot file here in the above we use a bot file okay so bot val a uh, bot whatever we getting in the bot and we just uh, paste and like put into the uh, the text view right and if the bot say that okay sir then we'll be destroy the uh, the window right so far so good and now now we will be using for uh, deleting implementing this functions so like uh, for this function we just need to say that one line code we just need to say that text dot uh, text dot delete uh, delete uh, what delete uh, and we can just say that uh, 1.0 and end like something like this end right so now it's good right uh, the whole thing is working or not so open the uh, run the applications and now uh, now one by one by one ask the thing right so first of all we are going to check like uh, the weather uh, is working or not so weather 28 degrees celsius haze so as you can see we getting the uh, uh, value of weathers and also let's uh, write and check the thing is working or not so weather and send 28 degrees celsius haze yeah it's pretty fine it's working pretty fine and you can uh, you can also delete this thing so all three button is working let's uh, check once more uh once more thing like play music gana.com is now as ready as for you see, uh, enjoy your music uh, as you can see the uh, gangana.com is open and also we can one more thing you can do that uh open google google open so as you can see google is opening and uh, okay so that's the thing okay and also we can ask for the time so we can write the time we can also speak but we can now be checking the time now so send it 17 hour 56 minute so as you can see that uh, 17 hour 20, uh, 76 hour and like this is the uh, right now the timing so we can delete it also and yeah that's it so also we can say that shut down and the gui will be destroyed so say that shut down okay sir and as you can see the thing is going 
for i hope you like it thank you for watching this video